All right. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us on the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today I have Sarah Gilbert with me. Sarah is a business strategist and mindset coach, and she helps service-based entrepreneurs build and grow their businesses so that they can change the world their way. Sarah, welcome to the podcast. Well, thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you. Before we before we dive into the questions real quick, can you tell me what what that means in the in your bio? You said help businesses kind of change the world in their way and you put a little a little asterisk next to there. What how is that special? I'm just out just curiosity. I find that a lot of people uh, just try to fit in a mold. Mm-hmm. And they just, you know, with their business, because I, I work with entrepreneurs, so they want to hit numbers because that's what they think that they need to be doing. They need to be attracting the type of clients because that's what they think that they should be doing. And everyone's trying to push everyone to fit in a box. Mm-hmm. And I'm in the like anti-box creation of define what you want. And mm-hmm. that is exactly the way you want to make a difference in the world. And that is exactly the business that we will build around that and not the other way around. Okay. Okay. I like that. That makes sense. All right. Let's dive into the the questions here. Sarah, tell us why did you become a coach? Well, I was probably born with the mother Teresa gene. Very, very strong. I've always, always wanted to help people. Um, And in different capacity, even, you know, growing up, I was doing like the girl who was doing fundraising, all all kinds of things and, you know, petitions for all kinds of things, but that was just who I am of being help, helping people. And we, you become a coach because there's something that you didn't get in life that you want to have and you want to give it as a gift for more people. Mm-hmm. So creating your life, your business and making a difference your way is something that I wanted that, you know, no, you can't do this. You should get married and the white picket fence and the kids and the thing. And it was like, no, it's like, that is not how I want to make a difference. So mm-hmm. that I do it my way and I want to help more people create their life and their business their way. Love it. Love it. Moving on. Okay. So question number two, what are you doing in your coaching business today that is unique? Well, I really folk, I really blend in because I'm filled with duality. So I really blend in the know-how. So your business strategy, your marketing strategy, your productivity, and your mindset, your beliefs. So I really blend those two, those two components together. Plus one of my expertise is really on psycholinguistics understanding how your language influences your own behavior and how your language influences your client's behaviors. Mm -hmm. So that's really a niche that I put in because there's just so, so much power on the words that we use. I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen that in my own life. I can, I can respect that. (laughs) Question number three, how do you find your clients? especially in the beginning of my business, a lot of it came through LinkedIn. Still today, LinkedIn is really my platform of choice. Mm -hmm. So with time now, I've been in business for 10 years. So obviously like every coach referral, but at one point, 50% of my business was coming through LinkedIn. And now I'm seeing YouTube really, because I have a YouTube channel, really picking up also in terms of client attraction. Love it. Yeah. And what, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? Definitely as a coach, it's scaling the business because everyone wants more of your time, but we only have infinite time and Mm -hmm. we don't want to spend that time also being with clients all the time. So I find that is my biggest challenge is how can I help more people Mm -hmm. in a way that I can still make a difference the way I want to make a difference and not burning out in the process. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So scaling is really my biggest challenge. I think, I think that's a common one. It is Um, definitely. Yes. Question, question number five, if you had a do over in your coaching business, what would that be? I would definitely gotten my NLP certification and my interest in terms of understanding how beliefs impact behavior, how language impact behavior way before in my business, because just by listening by somebody, how they talk, they tell you all their limiting beliefs and how they're going to sabotage themselves. So that is a tool in my toolbox that I have now that I wish that I would have had before. Mm-hmm. And that, probably that that's cycle why, linguistics. Yes. You know, and it's probably, that's why I also teach that to my clients mm-hmm. because I think it's such a powerful tool. So do over, I would have included that way before. Good stuff. Yes. And the bonus question, what is 
the one book that you recommend all of your clients read? It's a, it's, it's funny. The, the, I love the question. Thank you. I actually recommend very, very, very often is the top five regrets of the dying. Because Can you repeat that? Top five regrets of the what? Of the dying. Okay. Okay. So it's a book about people, the, the, the top regrets people have on their deathbed. And, yep. and I bring it because I find that people, humanity right now, people are living, are more surviving than really living. And they're just going through the motion without thinking with the end in mind. So that is a book that I recommend so we can actually have a plan of action. So when comes their last day, their last breath, they can say, I gave it everything I got and I lived the life that I wanted to live. Love and, it. I love that. Yeah. That's great. Awesome, Sarah. Do you, is there anything that you would like to promote and where can people connect with you online? Well, it's pretty easy. People can find me on my website, sarahgilbert.coach, or they can find me on my YouTube channel, which is sarahgilbert.tv. And I am often, I often offer free masterclasses either on business, productivity, or mindset to help service-based entrepreneurs in their business and, and make their difference their way. I love it. Those are some, those are some great domains. Very easy to remember. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Coffee with Coaches. And thank you, our audience, as always, for tuning in. We will see you next time. Thank you. Cheers.